Oh hey, welcome again to the corner of my kitchen. Do you like by the way that I'm wearing palm trees because I refuse to let go of summer. I mean, can you blame me? We only get like a month and a half. Not even a month and a half. It's really like two days of summer. But I am excited because today we are testing out some more overly sponsored products. I did a video like this a couple of weeks ago and you guys really liked it. So I went out, I purchased a couple more products that I have seen on Instagram or TikTok or even on YouTube. And we're gonna put them to the test, see what the hype is about. And so as always, if you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know and we can continue this journey of buying things that I see everyone using a lot. And we're in the kitchen for the first part because we have some beverages that we're gonna be testing. And we're gonna start by testing out flow water. It's water, but jazzy and expensive. I see these all over my Instagram in particular, and so I went out, bought a bunch of flavors, and I also bought the original because I'm gonna try and see if Chris can taste the difference between them. And by the way, the whole premise behind the Flow Water products is that they are made in these kind of recyclable and environmentally friendly packaging and that the water inside has like additional electrolytes and minerals in it that are supposed to be a lot healthier. It is fully alkaline. They source their water from very specific springs. And first, before I go get Chris, I'm gonna put this into a glass and see if we can taste the difference. Everyone, keep track for me. It's this one. This one is the one with the flow water in it because I'm gonna forget. Christopher. I don't know what Christopher is. I just saw him. Do you wanna try some water? Try some water? It's fancy mm. water. Yeah. It better be for the price. One of them is plain tap water and one of them oh, is the flow water. Test. Okay. So let's see if you can figure out. I haven't even tested it yet. Yeah, you got to get the nice flavors. Um, Does it actually smell like anything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> kind of wet, bit hydrated. Good. Top notes of hydrogen. <laughs> bit more oxygenated. <laughs> Christopher. Literally tastes the same. This one's colder. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same. They're the same Exa water. Exactly the same. Water. Okay, that's the flow water. Okay. So, you were wrong. Yeah. How did I miss it? <laughs> I'd have to be really looking. I was. <laughs> I don't know. It's refreshing. I did get the nice flavors though. Okay. So we can like taste test those. This one is cucumber and mint. See if these are anything like the, um, the I want to call them the, bu the bubles. <laughs> the bubles. Bubbly? Is that how it's actually pronounced? Allegedly. I'm going to try the lemon and is it turmeric? No, ginger. Faint. Very faint. Can't smell it. This one's a little bit cucumbery. That one has like, it was near a lemon once. <laughs> I showed a picture of some ginger. It's so faint and distant that it's almost like it's like a memory. <laughs> like I once remembered what that cucumber and mint water <laughs> tasted like. Hang on a second, wait. Oh, am I gonna try and taste the difference? Yeah. Row, row. Which one is lemon ginger and which one is cucumber mint? That's a cucumber. Yeah, that's the lemon. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. So it's there, there's, there. a, there's a minor difference, yeah. but like I was expecting a little bit more of like a, you yeah. know, kapow right. flavor. Sourced from our artesian spring. And it's like recyclable materials and like that's the whole premise behind the brand. So this one has collagen in it, which is gonna help with your nails, your hair, your skin. I mean, the packaging is good. It's just like, I don't know. I don't, what are we really buying with the water? The, I don't know taste. enough about alkaline. Yeah. Like if it's supposed to be about the taste, then it's nonsense. But yeah. if there's some actual benefit to alkaline water, then okay. Maybe the collagen ones are like more distinct because I bet these were more expensive though. I don't remember it. The watermelon and then this is pink grapefruit. Oh, I shouldn't have told you about that. Whoa, I can smell them. And look at the, like the color is mildly different too. It just looks like water on camera, but like this is slightly... Lower. A little bit more low. A little low. No, you're right. I don't like it. This one's okay. So I had the pink grapefruit one, and it sort of tastes mm -hmm. like someone put. You know when you leave pink, like a grapefruit or cucumber in the water too long, mm -hmm. like a lemon water in it is just like that weird. I don't know. That's what it tastes like to me. The watermelon one smells good. Pink grapefruit isn't as good. Mm -mm. Watermelon's alright though. Watermelon is alright. Yeah. It's not like a strong flavor. So if you're buying these for flavor, you will be disappointed. Yeah. So I don't know enough to say this is malarkey, but it might be hocus pocus. Jesus said malarkey. <laughs> I 
it's fine. What am I gonna do with you? Oh, Don't worry, I'll bring you back because we have more drinks. Thanks for the water. You're so welcome. Just need you to be hydrated. Now let's take a quick break from the beverages and I wanna show you a product that I've been testing out probably for the last like two weeks or so and I'm just like, I'm obsessed, I have to show you. Let's go to my living room. Okay, we need to be on the floor for this next product, which I've been testing again for a while now, but I wanted to show you guys the box that it came in because I've been saving it since I got it. It made me laugh, so I got like really excited about the brand in general when I saw it. So when I saw this on my doorstep, this is what I saw. Natural white all-purpose flour. And then at the bottom here, storage instructions, surprise. It's not flour, just put that on the outside so nobody steals it. Now open the box already. I mean, what's not to love about a brand with a sense of humor? <laughs> that cracked me up, which is a pun because this product is for cracking your back. And it is the Chirp Wheel. They have three different ones as well as like a posture corrector and they were featured on, I believe, Shark Tank and it's supposed to help to create better alignment in your spine. It's supposed to relieve any back pain that you have. Um, and I've had back pain, especially in my shoulders since I wanna say early high school. Like I've always really struggled to the point now where my mind Muscles are so dysfunctional that when I'm now trying to correct them, correct, like I have, um, what is it called? Diastis, re recti diastis, or so. Anyways, the separation of the muscles um, from giving birth <laughs> three times in a row. And so in doing all these exercises to try and correct the diastis, I've realized that my like really deep core muscles don't wanna do anything. And so it feels like they've been just throwing all the work to literally any other muscle they can. Muscles along my spine, shoulders, now my jaw. Anyway, that's entirely separate. So, chirp wheels. I bought the pack that gives you these three different rollers to help to um, correct your spine. So I use a foam roller and I love that. So when I saw these, I was like, yeah, please, I need more of these in my life. And you can see they are all different sizes to help to correct different needs that you might have. It's like Goldilocks and the three bears. We have the three bears here. This one is best for stretching, not a lot of pressure. This one is super high pressure, not a lot of stretching. And then this one's just in between. And so basically all you need to do, by the way, don't worry, I won't make the cracking sound on camera, is you put it so that your spine is in between and then you just kind of roll your spine along. So first of all, do I like them? Yes, I have been finding that I've been using these a ton. I love that I can carry them around the house. I have the medium one downstairs and then I keep the high and low pressure ones upstairs. And I have found they make such a difference for me. It just creates like instant relief for me and I love them. I even had some of the in-laws test out these wheels just to see what they thought. So I gotta try Mark using this. We're gonna see. So, so see this little thing? This is where your, your back goes. Okay. This is supposed to be deep tissue, so I figured that's like a good one for you. Okay. Maximum pressure, it says. Oh, it's too spread apart. And your back, you said, doesn't crack very easily, right? No. Okay, so, so you tell wait, me. Where do I put this? Ooh. Like you roll it along your back. Start here, I guess? Sure, I don't know. Is it cracking? I didn't have one crack. <laughs> Not one? Okay, Not try one. keep trying. Yeah. Is it giving you good pressure? It feels good pressure. I okay. just don't want to crack. Hold on, I'm gonna get the other one. There are two okay. other rings. I'm so curious which ones they're gonna like better. Brendan's also trying them. Try it? I did. Did you like it? Not really. This is the thing. You try it until you break it half. Yep. So the bigger the loop, the more it stretches. Oh, I cracked there. Ah. So maybe you just need a bigger stretch. I didn't crack, but I think it's only because I cracked on the, on the medium one. Oh, on the other but one? But this feels much better than the smaller one. Oh, you like the bigger one better? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And let your head go back too. Outside? Yeah, that's way better. So you can see the boys didn't really like the high pressure one and just preferred more of the stretching. I loved this one. When I first used it, and I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but like it zippered my back and just like instantly, I was like, oh. Like it made such a big difference for me in being able to like carry on for the rest of my day. And it has this little groove in the middle. That's where your spine is going to sit. And they have a couple of different exercises you can use them for. You can also use this one behind your low back for sitting at a computer and it's gonna help correct your posture. Which brings me to the next product. It's this guy. It looks kind of like a backpackless backpack. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on so I can show you. So you can see here, I've, I've tightened it on this side and then I'm gonna tighten it on this side. I feel like a flight attendant kind of explaining the <laughs> rules of a seatbelt. Anyway, you tighten it and I don't, I don't know if I can 
Can you see it on my back? A little bit. So what this is supposed to do, according to the website, it's gonna relieve any back pain with like posture correction. It's basically forcing you into better posture. And that way when you take it off, it's supposed to be able to then kind of remind you to be holding that good posture that you've been holding for a while. This is a great tool for me at least in helping to alleviate some of the back pain that I feel throughout the day. So when I'm standing and doing the dishes or I'm putting things away, this has been helpful for me after years of bad posture to help me now to get into better habits with like holding myself properly, you know? And also reminding myself like what muscles need to be working to hold myself here. Otherwise it will automatically go to these lovely muscles right here in my jaw. So overall, do I love this? Yes, I do. I really do. Also the box, again, I can't get enough of the box. I thought that was so funny. So yeah, big thumbs up from me. All right, welcome back to my kitchen. You ready to try some more beverages? Cause these are colorful. And we are gonna be testing out Bloom. Bloomy? Pretty sure it's Bloom. Bloom is essentially a company that creates these like nutritious powder drink products. They look really colorful, super fun. They do a bunch of different things. There's ones for recovery from workouts, sleep, ones to help combat cold and flu season. I think they just launched like a pumpkin spice one. And so I ended up buying the all day pack, which is supposed to be like the caffeinated one, one for midday, and then one for the end of the day. A little sleepy time, you know? And if you've been here before, I don't sleep well. So I'm pretty excited about this one. So let's start with the caffeinated one because I'm tired. This is the matcha coconut blend. It is vegan, stone ground. There are 30 servings per pack. Oh, and you can also sweeten it. Yeah, with like maple syrup or sugar or whatever. Is this gonna replace coffee for me? No. I will reserve judgment if I can have it maybe with my coffee. Okay, so we have our powder, we have our glass. That is what the powder is looking like, in case you were curious. It smells like matcha. So let's take a teaspoon. A little splash of hot water. Add a little bit more. They did a lot in the little stop motion animation on their website. Now we're going to tiny whisk it. And then they say to add in hot or cold milk and stir it. But I want to foam it like, like a latte. If you have a little handheld foamer, this would work really well, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna go and foam our milk with our little espresso contraption thing. Wow, I did a good job on the foam today. Good for me. Look at the foam I did. So this is a matcha coconut beverage. Looks better than water. Not that water doesn't have its place, it's just not that exciting. It's not as like colorful as I wanted it to be, but like it does look like a good matcha latte. So like I'm not mad at it. It doesn't taste at all coconutty though. You taste. I'm gonna see what ingredients are in here. Organic, organic. Did you hear that? Wow. That's fancy organic. <laughs> so matcha powder, coconut milk powder, Tapioca, moringa leaf powder. Oh, that's what I was trying to get. Is, yeah, couldn't place it's the, the moringa. moringa. Leaf, yeah, there you know. go. They say you can also sweeten it. I haven't added any sweetener to it. It's not unpleasant. Do you taste any coconut? No. Yeah, it tastes like a good like matcha latte. It's smooth. Very smooth, yeah. There's no like graininess, no weird aftertaste. It tastes not just, I was gonna say warm, but like obviously, Temperature wise, but it tastes yeah, like, like, it, like warm the mouth spice. Feel. Yeah. It is not strongly matcha flavored though. Mm -mm. Like, it's so mild. Yeah. If you're if you're wanting to get into matcha, this might be like a good way to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Not bad. It's not bad. I like it. Okay, it is now the afternoon and we're gonna be trying out the beetroot one. This version is supposed to naturally boost your energy even though it's caffeine free. It's supposed to be good for post-workout. You could add it to like a smoothie or your oatmeal or in my case, I'm making it another latte. It's not supposed to taste like beetroot and there is a whole beetroot in every serving. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, that looks dissolved. I'm crushing the lattes today. So first of all, it's beautiful. That is a really pretty pink latte. But let's taste test and confirm. It's very like clovey, not quite cinnamon, but it's got that warm kind of, to me it's like Christmas time kind of drink. I think I got foam on my nose. <laughs> Honestly, that's really good. They're right, it does not taste like beet at all. Having three of these lattes in today is a lot for me, but I would absolutely include that in like oatmeal, for example, in the morning, because I think that would lend like a really nice flavor profile for me. Beetroot, cinnamon, ginger, 
cloves. That's it. But I think it's tasty and it's really pretty too. I'm gonna finish it and see if I get any sort of, you can't see me, I'm gonna see if I can get any sort of energy benefits out of this because it is afternoon slump time for me. All right, it's now the end of the day. Changed into pajamas. So now I'm gonna be testing out the sleepy time one, which is blue lavender blend. This has lavender, coconut milk, blue, oh, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. Spirul, spirulina, spirulina, spirulina. Just something in here that's supposed to help your brain to shut off and get you into like a nice state for sleep. Oh, it's almost like kind of gray. It's got some bits in it too. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay, do you guys see this? And looking at it, that must be the, the brown stuff. Can you see that? Hopefully it tastes normal. It's a fun color though. I don't know how to explain it. it, it tastes like lavender, but it doesn't. Like it's not this like intense, like pow, hit you in the face kind of flavor. It's really subtle. I can see a place for this in like a bedtime routine, like, you know, winding down, having something that's really calming, very neutral flavored. We'll see if it does anything in terms of like helping me to feel more relaxed. But in terms of like a first taste, like I think it's good so far. Like honestly, I've had a good experience with all of these. I think that they are versatile. You can put them in a bunch of different things. It doesn't need to be necessarily just like a latte, though that is fun. But I plan on using them in like my green juice in the morning or using them in the oatmeal and things like that. And I think that they're like, they're good. I like them. Okay, now on to a cleaning product. And I saw this and I thought it was so interesting and such a cool concept and it is by the brand Blue Land. And if you haven't seen Blue Land floating around the internet, it's basically a cleaning products company and they create these forever bottles, tins, that kind of thing, and these little tablets that have all the cleaning ingredients in them. And then you just buy refills of these tablets and then you can keep using the same bottles over and over again. So it's an environmentally friendly way to get your cleaning done. I wanted to test the efficacy and how great these products are, but the brand in general seems really cool. They have been carbon neutral since 2020 and climate neutral certified since 2021. They have some really interesting products. I like their website. So I bought myself a little starter kit here that has a bunch of different options. So let's unpackage this, shall we? Ooh. I don't know why I thought otherwise, but it's glass. Right, let's look at these. Starting with the bottles, you can see they are slightly tinted different colors and they have listed on them what you should be using them for. And I also appreciate that on the handle itself, it actually has different color coding because the bottles look very similar. So once you remember what each of them is used for, it'll be pretty easy to find them, which I really like. Also worth noting that these ones are all plastic and they are BPA free. And then there is foaming soap here and this is glass. So here we have all the different cleaners and you can see they're color coded to which one they're supposed to be for, which is <laughs> super helpful. And we just need to fill these with a little bit of warm water and it's supposed to just instantly dissolve. No shaking or stirring required. So let's test that out, shall we? Okay, let's start with this one. This is the bathroom cleaner. By the way, it doesn't say where the fill line is, but I kind of assume it's like this little line thing here. All right, how did I do? Oh, almost exact, cool. Let's take our cleaner. It smells nice. This is what it looks like, by the way. And we just drop it in. Oh, you have to like shove it in, I guess. You see this? It's like stuck. I picked the right one, right? Yes, I did, bathroom cleaner. Get in there. Oh, that's a bit of a flaw. Now it's supposed to do its thing. Oh yeah, it is. Here we go. Just bubbling away like a science experiment. It says I'm gonna be able to clean in minutes and I don't have to shake it, so. I'ma let this be. And we'll go on to the blue one. This one is glass and mirror. All right, that one went right in. And she's starting to fizz, that's good. Next one, multi-surface cleaner. Get in there, get in. There we go. All right, that one also took some work, like the pink one. Now, hand soap. This one, by the way, has a very distinct line on it, right here, like a fill line. All right, put this one in. So they seem to be um, continuing to do their thing. I wouldn't say this is instant, though. Yeah, I have it up on my phone right now, it says, Fill it in, drop in the tablet, and start cleaning in minutes. No shaking or stirring required. I don't know. These don't look fully dissolved to me. My camera's saying I've done this for about five minutes now. I'll let you know when they're dissolved, I guess. Otherwise, I feel like I would just be cleaning with like a super diluted soap. 
or mostly water. So I'm gonna set a timer and see if they've dissolved in another two minutes. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, timer went off. Where are we at? Ooh, this guy keeps jumping. Still not dissolved though, huh? We'll try another five minutes. Oh my gosh, they're still going. These will take a while to fully dissolve. I mean, they're basically there. I'm sure it's usable, but this is not like an instant thing. So I would say about like 10, 15 minutes, which is fine. That's not like a big deal or anything like that. Um, just worth noting. But let's see how good these are at cleaning because my house surveying in front of me is a mess. It's an actual mess. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, so clean. <laughs> I hope the transition worked, but like, you know, for real, let's go like clean stuff. Starting with my very disgusting vanity where I just finished filming a makeup tutorial. Yesterday. I filmed a makeup tutorial yesterday. See? Hi. Ooh, this mirror is also not looking great. So I want to know how much I need to scrub this thing and how easily these stains come off, what it smells like, all of that stuff. Wow, my desk has seen <laughs> better days. So I'm going to use the uh, multi-surface cleaner, the yellow one on this one and just a plain cloth. Ooh, smells very, um, lemon pledgy. Okay, overall, that was super painless. The scent is a little strong, but it did do a good job cleaning everything. It came off really easily, but let's keep going and we're gonna attack on my bathroom next. Oh, right, and also this mirror. Hopefully you can see how disgusting it is. So I have the glass and the mirror cleaner here. All right. Cleaning it off. Doesn't really have a scent to it. It's really hard to do this with one hand. That's better. Let's just put it on the end here. Is there any streakiness? No. Well, that's good. It doesn't have a strong scent either, in case that is of interest to you, but let's go on to the bathroom now. So I have a few areas here I wanna clean. I wanna clean off the counter space here, as well as the mirror, and also this shower mirror has seen better days. All needs a good cleaning. Here's the bathroom cleaner for it. It doesn't specify what <laughs> bathroom cleaners for, but I'm in a bathroom. Oh, this one has a more of a scent to it. It's almost rose, but not quite. It's nice, I like it. That's probably my favorite scent out of all of them. I mean, not all two that have a scent. Oh, and I also have the um, foaming soap here I've been using. It also has a really nice scent, actually, and good foaming. See, so like, look at that. It's so pretty. It smells like, yeah, no, I, I lied. This one's my favorite scent. Okay, that did a really good job. Looks nice and clean. Now let's tackle this guy. I mean, it's mostly clean. There's like a couple of like spots down here that didn't really get anything. Maybe I just didn't put enough product on. Are we streaky? Does it look good? Let's see. Having a good cleaner for the glass that isn't going to be super streaky or take me a long time to do is probably what I'm most picky about. And that did a pretty decent job. There's no streakiness. There's no areas I have to like go back over. We'll do the mirror next though. I like the shape of the handles too. Um, and just the grip on the bottle is really nice. All right. Beautiful. Overall, I think these are awesome. They did a great job cleaning. I love the fact that you can just refill it yourself and you just order the little um, cleaning ingredients in the tablets. I wouldn't say it's instant, like it did take a good solid 10, 15 minutes or so to dissolve, but otherwise I think these are awesome. Okay, now I need to know, what overly sponsored products have you guys been seeing? Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is. I wanna know what products that we should buy next, we should test out, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these types of videos. I'm very pleased about those chirp wheels. Like, I'm really glad I got those. If you see any other products we should test out, leave them in the comment section below. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.